Guys, we have some really bad news. Logan accidentally washed Tom Brady's jersey and it shrunk in the wash. And it changed teams. <laughs> it did change. <laughs> hey, but I didn't even think of that. I yeah. thought you were talking about one of the Super yeah. Bowl jerseys, yeah. so I was taking it as that. What's up, guys? Today, we're going to be doing another Tom Brady video. And I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, my God. Shut up with the Tom Brady thing. But no, Logan likes Tom Brady, so we're, we got we to gotta do it. So, Logan got Tom Brady's jersey. So, he's got two Tom Brady wins. I got two of them. So, so here's what happened. I was supposed to go to the first game, and I was supposed to, like, yeah, so that's the jersey from his first game. That's his first win as a Buccaneer. But I wasn't able to watch it in person because of the cough cough. So I was like, yo, Tom, I really want a jersey that I watched you play in person. So this is the jersey he wore against the Green Bay Packers, where he beat them 38-10, to 10, and Elena is really sad about it. <laughs> So they literally scored 10 points in the first quarter or the first like five minutes of the game and after that nothing So they didn't even try they didn't want it. <laughs> So <laughs> while I was sitting next to Elena the Green Bay Packers scored 10 to 0 and I stopped sitting next to her And they never scored another point again <laughs> so I was We didn't see him for the rest of the game Yeah, cuz no, no, I sat down in another seat and I said I'm staying in this seat because as soon as I sat down Buccaneers won so I now have two game war and Tom Ray jerseys I have his first win as a Buccaneer and then I have his win against the Green Bay Packers jersey So I also got an interview with Tom Brady. They did a Zoom call to make it up to me. So I, we're going to have that interview in the video too. So I asked him some questions and I asked him a question Lance wanted. We're not going to smell this jersey because we, we already know. Ew. But one thing that I thought was cool about this one is the C on this Buccaneers jersey. It's the crucial catch. So it's about like cancer and stuff like that. Yeah, so Aww. the C on that one is just, a, it's a red with yellow C. That one has like a rainbow holographic one. But Logan, little did he know, he was going to be getting a two for one at the green Bay game. Not only does he have two Tampa Bay jerseys, but he's also got the jersey from this guy. He's wanting the shirt. Do I want it? Yes. <laughs> yes, he wants the shirt. <laughs> he, wants, he wants the shirt. <laughs> he wants it. Is it? That's it. I own the shirt. Hey! Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! 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 <laughs> So Logan, do you still have that shirt? I do. Where is it? It's in my suitcase. <laughs> Poobie. What are you gonna do with that? Pooby at the football game, this drunk guy took off his shirt off his back and gave it to me. Oh, how generous. So I got two shirts that day. Oh good. Did you smell that one? Does it smell like Tom? I don't know. It's like Tom. <laughs> but that's probably what the guy's name was. So anyway, something weird, like this is just I told Lance to upload all of this in one because I like to come back and watch these vlogs are for me. Yeah, they're memory vlogs. I want to go back and watch this for me. Anyway. So if it's really, really long or unnecessary and you're like, why would this be this for Logan? Okay, when we're old and decrepit, that's why they're there. But watch it. It's a Tom Brady interview. And that's not a game. And he gets some drunk guy's shirt. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fun game. It's, it's a jersey. That guy walked out of the stadium shirtless. <laughs> so I was like... Because he said, you want my shirt? And Logan's like, Ugh. I was like, yeah, he wants that shirt. He's like, I'll give it to you. <laughs> So yeah, phenomenal. There's that. Yeah, so anyway guys, enjoy the video. We'll see you in the next one. Eevee. Logan, he'll be on in literally three minutes. He's just pulling into the garage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you're based in Orlando, Logan, or where are you? I'm in Pensacola, Florida. How far is the drive to Tampa when you go to the game? That is seven hours. <laughs> No. Oh my gosh. Like Seven hours. Like, I guess six and a half. It, I mean, it's still pretty far. Like, I live, like, almost to Alabama, so it's, you have to go all the way down. But I go to Orlando a lot, so it's only, like, an hour away from there. And were you born and raised in Pensacola? Yes. Hmm. But I, I grew up watching the Patriots because, you know, he's won so many times since then. And so, and then he went to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and I was like, that's closer to me. It's closer than Boston. Yeah. Large boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So good. And then had you, had you been to obviously Patriots games previously or? Yeah, no, I've been to a bunch of them. I, I actually was at the last time he versed the Buccaneers in Tampa. So it was kind of crazy to be, to go to Tampa. Oh you know. Yeah. He's a great one, so I'm sure you'll enjoy. <laughs> yeah. He's exactly like you'll expect him. He, he's one of the nicest guys in the world. Yes. Who are you going to the game with on Sunday? A bunch of people. <laughs> like, I have a friend that's a Green Bay Packers fan, so she's going to be there. And so. Oh, trying that'll to get... be fun. Friendly rivalry, right? Yeah. Oh, good. That's 
nice that you guys got tickets. I feel like it's such a weird time, obviously, with you know how the tickets are sold and how many people can go to the game. So yeah, that you guys get to go and, and your friends are coming too. Yeah, definitely. Is it different being at the games with less fans? Yeah, like yeah, you have like the whole section to yourself basically. So like you have like they skip every other row and there's only like two or three people per row. And I think in my section last time there was probably like ten people in that section. So I could have it was probably only like a thousand people at that game. It, it looked like so, it's so different than kind of watching on TV. You can see how like you know the sound is just so it's so wild without the crowd there. Yeah, I, I actually I do enjoy. I, it's more fun without fans because you don't have anyone like in your view so it's just you but it kind of felt like a high school football game and the team was really bad like there's no fans <laughs> <but> <laughs> so funny you say that yeah no i'm sure it's just it, it's such a, yeah. a different world for everyone well like, like when you get touchdowns it the cheering what it, it's not as like exciting because like it's not like thousands of people screaming it's yeah. more it's more like yeah <laughs> I'm sure even if it's a huge play, it's like just like a little like, ah, uh, like nothing yeah. like that you're used to. Yeah, so I was like, I'm just sitting there. And you also, they have the first 10 rows cut off, so you can't sit as close as you want. And Tampa, like, the in, I used to sit in the end zone, and that's so fun because, like, you're so close. But now you have to be pushed back more, but the players can hear you yelling at them now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they can. It's the first way the ten or so rows that are cut, cut off. Or yes, I think in ten, I think in ten, that was the first fourteen. So like we had row fifteen was the most you could get. Oh, good. Well, at least you were right out there from row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were some fans yelling at the players, and they would wave back. They could hear you pretty clearly. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Are you in the same seats um, for this weekend that you were the last for the Chargers game? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I think so. Oh, fun. Since it's the Packers one, I think they, like, the tickets sold out really quick. So I think I might be a few rows back. I'm not sure. It's going to be a good game, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm so excited. Do you personally drive back and forth? When yeah, I know. I rent a big SUV and drive back and forth. Oh, that's fun. You guys all travel together? Yeah. Oh, there you go. I'll let you guys take uh, it from here. Good, man. How you doing? I'm doing great. Where are you at right now? Uh, I am in a friend's apartment because the Wi-Fi at my house just went out two days ago. <laughs> no way. I know, and I was like, I gotta call Tom Brady, and I, I gotta show him my room with all my stuff that I have from him, but then the internet went out. So I'm at my friend Savannah's house, and she's let me use her apartment for the internet, so. Oh my God. Yeah, it's the worst luck ever. <laughs> but it's so cool, it's nice meeting you and talking to you. Same here, man. Appreciate all your deed for the online challenge, too. That's no, really I'm, cool. I'm so glad you did it, too, because I was like, well, like, as soon as like I heard about it, my friend texted me and was like, this, this seems like something you would do. And I was like, I got to win it. <laughs> so I know you crushed it, man. Yeah, that, so, was, uh, that was that was great. Yeah. Did but, you grow up in Florida? I grew up in Florida all my life and I watched you winning all the time. <laughs> and so my yeah. grandma was a Cowboys fan. And so I, I kind of went for them. But then, they, you know, I was like, I, I want to go see Tom Brady in a Super Bowl. And so I watched Super Bowl 49 from home, and I was like, if I could ever see him play in the Super Bowl, I would. And then you went to 51, and my brother Lance is a Falcons fan. And so I said, I got to take my brother to his first Super Bowl. So I was wearing your jersey, and so you ended up breaking his heart really good. <laughs> so, uh, so did you guys go? Oh, yeah, we went. We were sitting at the 50-yard line, and it was halftime, and I was so upset. I was like... I was like, I don't want to see Tom Brady lose the Super Bowl. And I was like, I want to go home. And my brother was like, they can always come back. And I was like, Sigh. and so that was my first Patriots game was Super Bowl 51. And you came back and won it. And I was so happy. And to this day, I still rub it in his face. And, oh, man. and then you made, the next, you made the next two Super Bowls after that. And I was like, so that, those were really fun. But, I know, we got to try to get there this year, man. That's what I want. I'm hoping they allow fans at it. Like, it's like a packed Super Bowl because... I know that'd be so cool for you to win it in your home stadium. Like no team's yeah. ever done that. So you got to do that. I know we're working at, we got, we're off to, you know, decent start, but we just got, we got a few things we got to tighten up. Yeah. I was at your Chargers game, the, the one that y'all first yeah. I know you came back and threw five touchdowns and I'm like, oh my God, he's winning. He's dominating it. But it was insane. Keep coming, man. I'm coming this weekend to the Green Bay Packers game. So oh, good, I'm, and I'm hooking you up with that jersey. Too. Yeah, I know you're so amazing for that. Like I was like, because I wanted to go, I wanted a jersey that I like watched you play in in person. So I was like, I totally want that one. So, so the Chargers one I gave to my buddy who I've worked with for 15 years because he was like, it was our first game that we had like done something special. So yeah, when we had that one come out. I said no, I give him the one from Denver. So I'm glad this one worked out. Yeah, I was supposed to go to the Denver one, but I ended up not coming out for that one. But I was, I totally because. 
I, I've never seen the Green Bay Packers play, and so I was like, I want to see him versus the Green Bay Packers. I have a question. So you guys wear the white as your home. Is it because it's so hot outside? Yeah, for sure. Do you feel yeah, a difference? Like, yeah, you know, because well, I used to come down for the Patriots and we played Miami. Yes. And play Miami was, we'd always wear our blue jerseys because they always wore the whites. But it's hot, man, but it's, you know, it's 90 degrees out. You know, as many, as much white clothes as you can wear, the better. Yeah. It's just crushing you when you're just in those dark dark colored, you know, uniforms. So yeah. the Packers are being green. They got, you know, they're sitting on the heated sidelines. It's going to be tougher for them. <laughs> yes. But you have the plane, you know, when you live here, you get so used to the heat. Yeah. And then now this is like, it's actually getting more, um, you know, a lot easier to get used to the heat, you know, here now that we've been playing in it. Yeah. You can say we're outside in practice and it's not, it's not nearly as bad when you're, yeah. when you're used to it. Well, see, I personally like the red jersey. They look so nice. And I was like, I can't wait to see him play in that. Um, but, okay, another question. So I went to the AFC Championship game where you versed the Chiefs. And that was the coldest game I've ever sat in. And my hands, I was trying to vlog it, and my hands, I couldn't feel my hands. How are you, How do you rather play in cold weather or hot weather? Because it's... I know. It's a trip when you're out there and it's freezing cold like that. So I actually, what I prefer, what do I prefer? <laughs> I prefer, I guess, like mm, low fifties. <laughs> low fifties. So, low fifties, but when it's like low twenties, I mean, you're you're freezing. Well, so, when you're running around out there, doesn't your lungs hurt from breathing in that cold air? Like that's gotta. Oh, for sure. And, Everything. And, and getting hit when it's cold, I couldn't do that. I'd be done. I would have retired right now. <laughs> I know. I've gotten hit plenty in the cold too, especially when you're on the turf. Yeah. And you get hit, and you just you're smashed on the ground, and it's like. That's just the way it is. A question my brother wanted me to ask you is, who, like, what lineman has sacked you and it, like, it, like that, you don't want to be sacked by that guy. Like, who's the one you feared? Like, you're like, oh, that one hurt. Like, well, now I get to play with the guy, Sue. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. He, he crushed me. Well, he, uh, in Super Bowl 53, he was on the Rams. And... He was on the Rams that time, too. But mm. he, he, he played, we played him in 2015, and he was playing for the Dolphins. And... I got annihilated by it. I showed him a picture today. I actually had my ankle after that game because he rolled him on my ankle. Oh, no. My ankle was like that big. It was disgusting. And uh, he's like, man, I didn't realize I did that to you. And I was like, yeah, you did. Oh, wow. You know? Maybe there was a little remorse from him, but not a ton. Yeah, but, definitely. I, I think it's so cool. Because he's so strong. You know, and then he shoves you, you just, get, you just get destroyed. Well, now he plays for you. So now, you know, like he can do that to other people. I know. Now he's yeah. Now he's thankfully that's. I'm glad he's on my team. You know, you don't, I don't have to hit him. Either. I don't have to get hit by him anymore. So I'm happy about that. Definitely. So another question. So out of all the Super Bowls you won, which one do you look back and go, okay, that one, that one's my favorite, or that one's like I, I that one I love that one. They're all different. The first one was amazing because it was yeah. just you don't realize how hard it is to win. Yeah. I would say the. The Atlanta one's probably the most memorable. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we defied every odd in football history, you know? So yeah. What were you thinking you know, during it? Like, when y'all were down that much, what were you, like, were you, like, cause me, I would have been like, okay, it's obviously done. I just throw Hail Marys every play, because I'm like, it's, I might as well just see what we can do. So what were, know. what were you thinking? I was thinking, well, we were losing, we were down 28-3. I was like, we got to score. We need to score. We got to score one, you know, we got to get on the board. Yeah. Because you can't score 25 points in one drive. So you just score once and we got the ball back. We scored again. Then we got the ball. We scored again. Then we got the ball. We scored again. So then we got the ball again and scored again. So yeah. <laughs> it's just a progression, you know, it's like yeah. anything. Once you get the ball rolling in your direction, you just got to take advantage of it. So yeah. you can't score them all at once. You got to, you know, you got to make it happen. And yeah. Once you, you just got to get on the right rhythm. Yeah, I, I I just I don't know, it was so insane. I just got done watching. You've been doing your stuff on on uh, on YouTube. I've been doing YouTube for thirteen years. So no way. Yeah, I'm about, I'm turning twenty six this year. And I started when I was like twelve, going on thirteen. So I've been doing it for so long, and you know, it blew up in two thousand fourteen, and it's just been going ever since. So I mean, I'm really blessed about it. It's been able to like you know I've been able to do a lot of fun stuff with it. Like I've been I went to all three Super Bowls that you went to with fifty one, fifty two, and fifty three. So. Uh, you know, I got that. I've been able to do a lot for my family and friends, so it's really fun and exciting. But so, do you do everything? You come up with all the ideas that you? Yeah, I direct it, I edit it, I shoot it, I think of the characters. Like it's, and we film twice a week, so we do two videos a week. And you know, it's 
it, it, I mean, it, I don't do as much work as you do. <laughs> like, I definitely have to film and like, so it's, yeah, I, I mostly do everything. Part of that for you. The hardest part of that is trying to make all the fans happy because if you upload a video and like a million people like it, it's that one comment that, that the one hate comment that gets to you. You're like, why didn't I make that person happy? Like, why didn't I, like, what could I have done better to make that person happy? Like trying to please everyone is one of my biggest things. For sure. What have you found that makes you, yeah? What what, has, what have you found that makes you truly happy in life? That you're like that makes me happy. Oh man, being with my kids. <laughs> yeah, being with my kids, just being with my kids, and you know, I think for football, I still, you know, I love what I'm doing. So, I really enjoy being out there playing. Practice is a lot of fun. When you're competing, it's fun, but it's, you know, it's competition. So it's not like you're going, hey, this is really fun. You're thinking like, how do we beat these guys? And yeah. When you're practicing, it's probably more fun. Um, but yeah, I think just the daily, the daily grind, the daily struggle of the competition, <laughs> that's probably the best thing. Yeah. yeah. And family and your family that. and everything. So we got a lot of work to do. We got, we got a big, you know, we got a big game this weekend. We got a tough schedule ahead, so. Yeah, I definitely a lot of things together in a short period yeah. of time. Well, try to beat the Packers for me. I really like that jersey to be a win. <laughs> you know, I like. I definitely would. Like, up at home, so. I know. I closed it out. Yeah, so please, yeah, so that would be amazing if you do that. <laughs> so. Yeah, we'll do it. All right, we'll thank you it. so much. And then we're gonna hook up later. Uh, you know, next year or we'll figure out sometime in off season or something. Yeah, we'll hook up. We'll talk more about it at dinner. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great, man. All right, thank I'm you so much. All right. Well, it was nice talking all to right, you. Man. Great talking to you. All right. See you later. Appreciate all your everything. All right. Thank Take you, care, man. Bye. All right. See you. Hi, Logan. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll Thanks see you. We'll, we'll get you that jersey um, as soon as the, it's over the game. We'll get it to you next week at some point, okay? All right. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much for making it happen. Thank You're you. welcome. You're welcome. That was, um, I'm actually, I'm a Dolphins fan, so it was oh, no. entertaining. It was entertaining for me to hear the, the Sioux comment. But, yes, yeah, definitely. It's been, a, it's been a painful 20 years for me as a Dolphins fan playing against the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> so that's awesome. Well, thank you okay, for making I'm it happen. Glad. No problem. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and um, we will be in touch. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All His of kids them. in the background was running That away. was so cute. Was he so didn't even good. acknowledge them. <laughs> Like, I would have laughed. Like, he didn't even notice that's what was happening. <laughs> What's up, guys? Today, we're going to be going to another football game. And this time, Lanyard has just been uninvited because she tried ruining such a glorious intro. That you didn't even press record for. Hey, I hit it, but it didn't do what I wanted it to do. Okay, well, you can't blame me because you f***ed <laughs> up. <laughs> well, okay, see, there's foosball going on in the background right here. It's, it's the, the BRs and the, the Panthers. <laughs> so anyway, Logan is actually going to be getting this jersey to this game because he made another donation to Tom Brady. Ooh. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. well, fun facts. <laughs> fun facts that may or may not nice. be facts with Lance. I lied. Oh. Yeah. No, you didn't. We I got didn't. one minute, y'all. Anyway, so we gotta go down and get our lift. We'll see you at the game. Let's go. Hee hee. The Buccaneers. All right, guys. So we're at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Green Bay Packers game, and it's Atlanta's team versus my team, and we're doing score predictions. I think I think the Buccaneers are gonna win. I don't actually think that, but I think it's gonna be like 24 to 21. 34 to 21 Packers. Uh, 28 to 35. Who wins? A Packers. Go Packers! I think the score prediction is going to be 27 13 Green Bay. Yeah. It's going to be a high scoring game. They're two great offenses. So I get Tom Brady's jersey from this game. I get Tom Brady's jersey from this game, so I need him to win. So I hope Logan wins. Because he gets the jersey! Can we appreciate that my boy Crosby got the first score of the game? Yeah! That's the only score they're going to get. Yeah! The jersey. I hope Tom Brady takes a sack so he has a grass stain for you. Well, he's about to... Even though they weren't even playing. I wore a Bucks hat. Okay, and you look so 
really worried we're going to lose. I don't know why. Yeah, I would we're be We're number two in the NFL right now, undefeated. That means you're a big shit. <laughs> yeah. Just saying. If we don't get this group done, we're done. cry. <laughs> we'll see him after he cries real tears. Bye, Logan! I honestly think the Packers are going to win. Yeah, the defense of the Buccaneers just isn't that great right now. Like well, they, the they almost lost to the Chargers. Oh, the Packers defense is rough too, though. Yeah, yeah. Strong offensive game. Right? Can I get like, a yeah, 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 yeah. Your argument is invalid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to play it yeah, 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 on that one. <laughs> Elena said, Elena said, I want Brady to throw two interceptions and one pick six. Aaron Rodgers throws two interceptions and one and pick six. one pick six. Like, how did she know? She had a prediction. She didn't know which one to predict it up. That is our father. Another that touchdown. Another one. Another one. Touchdown, Brady. 21 10. We get the ball to happen. Oh, no. So, Elena said, I don't know if she remembers saying this, but she said, I want two interceptions and one pick six from Tom Brady. <laughs> but then what ended up happening was Aaron Rodgers threw two interceptions and one pick six. <laughs> Elena, do you remember saying that you wanted- I already made the joke. You did? Yeah, not, not, I said not on the, the wrong vlog, 12. Not, not on the vlog, she didn't say it. I said I predicted it for the wrong 12. You literally said two interceptions and one pick six, and then it happened. For the wrong 12. I want to thank you for asking. I, I know you were asking it for me. Yeah. Maybe. It hurts. I know, but like, but like, if it's a memory, and like, you, you're, like, you're gonna go to the Super Bowl. I don't want them to go. I just want them to, at least the jersey. This is just for me. Logan just wants the jersey because he's already getting the jersey. So he just wants them to win, which I can respect. I just honestly thought Packers came out blowing ass 10 to zero. I was like. The, thing, the game's not over. It's, it's not, yeah. I mean, fun. we get the ball after halftime, so if we can keep running it up, but I'm still scared. The game's over. No, it's not. Hey, you know how many times I said that to Logan? Let's shut up, shut the hell up. Oh, no, no. no, 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 no. Buccaneers are going to win, obviously. Okay. I already sent you my score prediction, my update. In 40 after all this, I don't want the Green Bay Packers to win. Thank honestly, you. they don't deserve it. So I gave Logan, right before halftime, an updated score prediction. 42-24 Buccaneers because Tom Brady's going to go in there with BDE, big energy, and he's going to come out and say, hey, long schlong swinging, and he's going to come out and finish it out 42-24. Now, Elena, was that really Aaron Rodgers' first interceptions of the season? No way. It, it, it said they had not turned it over all year. Yeah. That was their, that was their that first. That does not sound right. It was their first turnover of this season. Aaron Rodgers is taking a big <laughs> Florida because it's hotter than <laughs> out here. He almost threw three of them. Ridiculous. I only want the Buccaneers to win because Logan is getting Tom Brady's jersey again. <laughs> the Buccaneers get the ball to happen. They score on that drive. They will get a field goal, and then after that, Aaron Rodgers will get a touchdown, but they're going to hold him to that. So Green Bay scores no more than 17. Maybe they'll get 20, but I don't see him scoring more than 20 points. Is Elena, has Elena been upset? No, she's actually been cheering for the Buccaneers, <laughs> which looks hilarious because she's wearing a Green Bay Packers jersey. All right, I'll see you after the game, unless you come sit with us again. I will, I just, when I was sitting with y'all, we were losing 10 to zero. I don't sit with y'all, 28 unanswered. So get the f away from us, go, leave!
Jackson got that. Wow. Go, go, Woody! Brady's gonna get this touchdown. Watch it. Brady's gonna get this touchdown. Watch it. Tom Brady touchdown. Touchdown! Thirty-eight to ten. Tom Brady. I'm sure she's upset because the uh, the Packers lost again. Okay. The first time, not again the first time. Oh, well, hey, y'all lost against my Falcons in the <laughs> NFC Championship. Where's Elena? Logan, you get Tom Brady's jersey. I know. And he won it for me. I said it's gonna be a tough game, and he was all like, "Oh, we're undefeated at home." And I'm like, he kept that promise. I know he won for me. And he has a grass stain, so I know. Hey, tell him not to wash it. Send him a message on Instagram no, he, right now. He already the knows about this. Right there, I saw it. Yeah, I'm it's, it's like it's good. good. I'm so happy they won because I get the jersey because he said I'm gonna give you that jersey, and I was like, well, Green Bay was undefeated, not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first time we saw Logan down. I know. Nasty. What? <laughs> How about them walking here? Let's go. Let's go. Huddle up. Let's go. Can I get a hot hot? If you want my love, you got it. If you need my love, you got it. I won't hide it. I won't tell you love away. There's 1.2 million people going to see that. Let's go. Let's go. Go, boys. Good looking man. <laughs> if you weren't dating him, I would. Okay, okay. Back up now. We're gonna, we're gonna I know. tussle now. I know. I know. She's a tussler. I like her. She's, a, she's like a wild cheetah. Yes! <laughs> Let's go, Ray! Do you want the shirt? Do I want it? Yes. <laughs> yes, he wants the shirt. <laughs> he, wants, want he wants the shirt. <laughs> he wants it. Is it? That's he it. I own the screw. Hey! Yeah! You got two jerseys tonight! You got two jerseys tonight! Yeah! 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 He owns that company! You should have gotten an autograph it. I know. <laughs> He's such a famous guy. This man just gave you his and sweaty ass shirt. What does it smell like? I don't want to smell it. Does it smell does it hold on? Does it smell as bad or worse than Tom Brady? <laughs> we'll, we'll let everyone else decide to film it. <laughs> okay, so what I was gonna say is that every time I sat with Elena, the Packers only scored when I was with Elena. And then when I didn't sit with her, Buccaneers scored and then so And then you didn't sit with us anymore and they didn't score another <laughs> point. <laughs> I know. What do you think? I sat with y'all and Green Bay scored 10 points. And I went and sat away from y'all and they scored. Green Bay never scored again. Yeah. So it was bad luck sitting with y'all. Are you really going to keep that shirt? It's <laughs> a memory. I'm keeping it. Yeah. I don't know what happened. <laughs> he owns that company, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. No one can confirm. For all you know, I own whatever company shirt I'm wearing. <laughs> you want my shirt? Don't I, own, I own the Buccaneers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right, guys. That does it for us today. Logan actually is getting Tom Brady's jersey, so we're we're good to go. I got two shirts. He got two jerseys. That guy's gonna wake up tomorrow and be like, where the f is my shirt? <laughs> Who took off my shirt?